Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. <coughs> I'm gonna show you something very cool today around creating unique subtotals inside your um, Power BI tables. <laughs> now, as many of you probably know, utilizing, um, at the moment, utilizing the general uh, tables inside of Power BI doesn't, doesn't give you much flexibility. Um, there's not too much that you can do with them in terms of, um, you know, creating unique custom designs or subtotals or summary calculations, etc. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a bit of a breakout session um, here, very, very, you know, relatively quick one, um, which um, comes out from the recent uh, financial reporting course release um, by Enterprise DNA. So this is a this is a really detailed. Um, reporting application for a variety of financial reports like income statements, balance sheets, cash flow statements, etc. Um, but the, 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 I guess the core technique that, I, that was used with all these is, is, is around how you create these sort of generic templated designs and, and subtotals. Okay, and so I wanted to sort of just walk through the, the the techniques here around how you do it. There's obviously a little bit more, you know, to making a full application here, and that's what this, the course is all about. But this is just going to be a quick breakout session around how you can create these subtotals, like total revenue, total cost of goods sold, total profits, etc., and put them into um, and put them into whatever look and feel you want in a report. And look, you you this is such a reusable technique. Okay, and that's um, that's something I really want to highlight here is that um, you can create, if you utilize these techniques, this is really the only way I, I know how to do, you could do it, how you, the only way I believe you can do it in Power BI at the moment, um, you can use a similar, uh, these a similar ideas, similar, similar concepts to what I go through here to actually apply to create any type of unique table. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to have set up, so this is just the, all, the, all the sort of data, the demo data that was used throughout the course. What you need to do here is you need to set up a template which has your subtotals in it in a specific location, right? And so, for example, I've got my underlying um, calcs here, and then I've got my roll up calculation here basically of total revenue, and then I've got my cost of goods sold, all the granular detail, then my, my subtotal. Then I've got another subtotal, and then another summary calculation of gross profit percent, and so on and so forth. And so, I've just set this up in a really unique way. And now it's a matter of going and making sure that the correct calculations go into the correct spots inside of this um, inside of this templated table, basically. Okay. So there's just a couple of steps, basically, that you need to take inside of um, inside of your model to actually get this to work. Okay. So I'm just going to run through mainly the DAX formula techniques that you need to utilize. Okay. So we've got. Um, We've got all of our sort of underlying uh, results sit within a, a, a table in our data model, right? So we've got a pretty detailed data model here. Um, so all of our sort of financial calculations all sit within our uh, a table that is formed there. Okay, so now it's just a matter of allocating those um, results, uh, that raw data, into uh, a specific template. Now, the first thing we need to do to is we need to actually generate these subtotal calculations before we do anything. We need to create unique measures for these subtotals, okay? So what we need to do is we need to, first of all, so say, say we want to calculate revenues, well, then we want to make sure that we have a separate measure which just calculates revenues, the subtotal amount, okay? So I've got my revenues there. Then if we look down at our template, we've got total cost of goods sold, so I've also got a measure for that as well. So these are going and calculating over our um, key table, which has all this information, but it's just breaking it out into the separate amounts. Okay, so cost of goods sold, I've also got total gross profit. So another um, measure there as well, gross profit margin, again, another subtotal measure. Okay, so once you've created all these, so obviously it depends on what your table looks like. Once you've created all these, this is where you need to work out. You need to basically allocate these to the correct rows in your templated table. Okay, so that's what you can do with this particular um, technique here. Okay, so I'll just show you this one. Switch true. Okay, so this is such a, um, a key uh, sort of formula piece of formula logic that you need to get your head around because it's, it's just a way better way to write like a lot of if statements, a lot of nested if statements. So basically I've gone here, switch true. 
And um, at every single row inside of this table, we are trying to work out what row we are in, okay? And we're trying to work out, are we in the revenue row? Are we in the total cost of goods sold row, the total gross profit row? row? And then if we are, it's got to evaluate to true, and that's where we need to input that um, measure, we just those subtotal measures we just generated first, okay? I've put a division around this just so um, I can reduce it from millions to thousands, just to make it easier on the eye in terms of the table. Um, but depending on whatever your measure is here will depend on um, what you place in here, right? So, but, but basically all I'm doing is I'm working down in every single um, row here, I'm trying to work out, okay, well, am I in a subtotal row? If I am in this specific subtotal row, then I'm gonna put that subtotal measure that I calculated. And then we do that for all of the subtotals that we, we, we create. Or, this is where it comes in quite handy, you could actually create a totally unique table um, of anything. And be, all you have to do is then you switch true to allocate certain measures results to a specific row in a table. Then for the alternative results, what I've done here, that the ones that aren't subtotals, well these are just actually, um, these are actually already dimensions in our sort of raw table. And so I don't need to go and allocate every single row here because then I'd have just have a huge, huge switch true statement, which I don't want. All I need to do is make sure that um, because these actually already sit, they're not unique um, columns at all, they're already dimensions which sit inside of our table. All I need to do is just do a quick sort of like, um, sort of like a sum if formula um, inside of um, Excel. It's kind of like just working out, okay, what what row is this um, in our raw table, and then allocate the actual calculation to that to that row, okay, and that sort of fills in all the other different spots there as well. Okay, so that's that's really the technique. Like I wanted to I wanted to show you is that first of all you've got to calculate up your your subtotals that are in the template, and then you want to go and you switch true to then allocate to each individual row whatever calculation you want, okay. And um, and then um, you know if you can make it make it easier on yourself um, with an alternative result like this and not having to have hundreds of different um, row allocations, then I highly recommend that as well. Um, that that brings a bit more scale to what you're doing. Okay, so I think we're gonna round things off there. This is obviously a far more detailed um, model uh, than just this example, but I just obviously like to do small breakouts um, on our on our channel. So um, so hopefully you got the idea here. Um, certainly if you want to review um, the course more, ch check out portal.enterprisedna.co, that's the Enterprise DNA online site, um, and that's got the full course there. Um, you can also get access to the to the full course, um, it's a very comprehensive um, um, co course module. Uh, you can do that via membership as well, so certainly check out that if you think that that's a good option to upgrade to. Okay. If you like this one, um, definitely throw the video a like, really appreciate it, as always, and don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Okay, speak to you soon.